All right, we are live. Okay. So, you're here to tell us a little bit about some successes you had, and yes. who are you? Okay, my name is Erin, and um, I'm 33, that helps <laughs> information, um, and uh, I was having a lot of health problems uh, for many, many years, so I finally solved and curbed those. <laughs> so, what, would you be comfortable sharing some of those, what they were? Yes. Yes. Um, the when I was 17, I was diagnosed in the medical world with um, irritable bowel syndrome. So I lived with that for many years. Um, aside from that, every two weeks, I was getting very sick. Um, you know, I was on constantly on antibiotics and all sorts of things. I was always missing work. I had um, irregular menstrual cycles. I had um, weird weight gains extreme weight losses for no reason, no change in my eating. Uh, the, I mean, the list goes on. I, I just was not a healthy, I can remember thinking, I'm so young, how come I feel so bad all the time? Right, now, how, yeah. how besides missing work, was there other ways it impacted your life and your moods, attitudes, things you like to do? Anything like that? Everything, because I was, um, I danced for many years, and I remember one year distinctly I missed the recital because I was so ill I couldn't do it. Um, so that I stopped dancing altogether because I felt like I would miss so many practices or the recitals, uh, mm -hmm. the payoffs of it. Um, I missed uh, work. I missed, I remember it affecting um, a dating relationship I had. I just felt like I couldn't even be in it because it was so, my mental and physical state was so severe. I couldn't even maintain a relationship so it just it affected a lot of things it affected things I, going on trips or I always felt nervous about what if I get sick you know what if I get sick when I'm there what if I get sick when I'm on the airplane what if I you know I just felt like I couldn't even I felt trapped so it created a lot of anxiety a lot of so then it added to symptoms obviously and I just I was always a mess <laughs> okay so now how did you hear about our office Originally. I believe my mother had heard about it. I mean, you know, as you can imagine, I had a mom of a teenage girl who was, we were in all sorts of um, doctor's offices, specialists, in and out. I was having, you know, tests and testings and all sorts of things done. So she was pretty desperate. So we, she, someone had told us about your office. And so she said, well, it can't hurt. <laughs> 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 and so we, we came in and um, I started started, I believe the first thing that happened was um, just kind of you were addressing the irritable bowel because that was at that point the most severe and within weeks I remember there being results and remember feeling like wow I think this is getting better or it's least manageable where I don't feel so much anxiety over it wasn't preventing me so much. So, so what were we doing back then to help you? Well, they had given us medication when I went gone to a specialist prior to seeing you. You mean? And and then after. You and saw then us. after. Cool. Yeah. Well, prior to seeing you, they had given me medication a specialist had that had, and you know it was really frustrating because when I was diagnosed with IBS, it was not a strong diagnosis. It was we don't really know what else to tell you, so we'll just say this is kind of it. And so I remember feeling when I got that medication that being on that medication was scary to me mm -hmm. because I felt like you don't even really know that this is my problem and I don't want to live on some medication for the rest of my life. So I kind of was kind of taking it, kind of not. And as with medications, I feel there's sometimes so many side effects, it's not worth the medication. So I stopped taking it and kind of went back into a hopeless state over it. Yeah. So then once we had started coming to your office and, and having regular visits, um, you had put me on a series of uh, supplements that just to address the system, I remember we addressed some things in my diet um, just to help. We had addressed blood type um, diets at that time and I had tried some of those things. And just by, I mean, it was really minor. The, yeah. changes I had to make at that point and um, you know by just staying on those supplements and kind of just making sure I wasn't eating drastic foods um, I felt a very very significant difference right mm -hmm. away okay and then at that time though you still had some fluctuations in weight still yeah for me um, it wasn't long after that I just I was so thin I could not gain weight and I was eating and I just could not gain weight and people were worried about me and everything okay. and I just remember being frustrated because saying 
I'm not trying to lose weight. I cannot gain it. Yeah. Um, I had a lot of still other health lingering, but I think we were trying to address one thing at a time. So mm -hmm. I felt in the IBS uh, issue, mm -hmm. I felt like that had cleared, but I was still dealing with a lot of other health sh health issues. We were trying to one by one, I think. Yeah. <laughs> address. Got a few things going. On. Yeah. Yeah. So what the other day you mentioned that because um, we've noticed over the last like say year or so mm -hmm. you've maintained um, a better state of health and yes. you, you said you did something different. Yes. And what was I that? Do. <laughs> oh well let's see about uh, I was almost well it's coming on two years now in the summertime I hit a really bad crash you know I had been coming to your office for many years and I had um, been taking supplements and addressing a lot of things but I was really only kind of going around the main core issue which was I didn't want to admit that anything gluten would was bad for me and um, so I I felt better you know by coming to your office and so I took the supplements and everything like that but I hit a point in my life where um, just some external circumstances where I hit a physical crash where um, you know my adrenals completely crashed my I believe when I got checked in the office I think I was at a one or something with my adrenals um, like 15 is what we typically say is normal 15 being the normal so that's good, pretty right? bad so it was bad i was and in that because i was in such a bad state i was having panic attacks it was i was it was really bad and um and prior to that you had been talking to me saying hey let's you know i think you need to try this i mean think you need to take wheat out of your diet i think you need to and other products that uh, my body would view as wheat you need you can take them out of your diet and um you know i i would have attempt to do it i would take some things out or i'd take them out for a day or I would, <laughs> or i would find the alternative to those things and i just it, it was panicking to me to think that i it felt like such a massive change to me so i would try to do that but in doing that it never that's why i gave up on it because i never felt better because it I wasn't fully submitted to that process. Right, so right. I wasn't committed to that. So because of that, I didn't feel the full effects of and change of it. So, um, so then you had a turning point. When I crashed, I got desperate and said, I have to do something. And so I said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to fully commit to trying this because I've never tried it fully before and I'm going to. So I started off on the... Um, You'll have to remind me the repair program. Repair program, and to I help your digestive off. tract repair and right first get rid of all antigens. So it's right. you know kind of no grains, no dairy, no soy, just vegetables, proteins, cer yes. certain fruits. Certain fruits, and that was, and then there was also a supplement you would take to help repair right. your system. And um, so I committed to it and it's um, for three weeks you start mm -hmm. on that and before you go to the next step which includes you can start adding other foods in and um, yeah I believe I was at that office because I was in such bad shape at that time I was coming to your office probably once maybe twice a week to try to really do everything I could to build back up and I remember every week I came in uh, my adrenals were going up a couple of numbers every week and I was building back up so and I remember you saying just get to eight and you'll start feeling a lot better. Just get to eight. <laughs>